Hi, everybody. So today we're working on the flat position sensor. It's a nice little added kit that uh, Van sells. Again, why this wasn't an option with the fuselage, I have no idea. Uh, which is ironic because they have holes drilled just for this in the hardware. Anyway. Uh, what, it, what it consists of is a small Ray Allen uh, position, uh, 1.2 inch sliding position sensor. A little picture of that here. That gets mounted uh, uh, against the vertical brace behind the flat motor. You can see the hole in the arm at the end, so that's going to be connected via a piece of hinge wire to the flap arm, which I just finished removing. Right, so the idea is the uh, the position sensor stays in place, and as the arm rotates, it pulls that it pulls the position's arm in and out. Right, and all it is is a rheostat or potentiometer. Right, so it, it's made to vary the resistance based upon uh, where the arm is. But, you know, in layman's terms, it's it's basically it uses it uses resistance to just measure where the stick is sticking out of the box. That's all, and it just comes back as a number. And I believe it's a 5k potentiometer. <clears throat> so. What we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole near the end, and there's a very specific place that you need to put it so that it's, you know, so that it fully extends. Um, and trust me, Vance has done the trigonometry on this. It works because there's already holes drilled in that vertical uh, brace behind the flat motor to actually put it in. So once we drill that, we're going to be able to put it in. Uh, there's three wires to every potentiometer. Two of them are attached to the strip, and one is attached to the... Uh, what do they call it? The wiper. So there's, they call it the wiper. Just trust me, that's what it is. Um, and those are going to go back, and those are going to plug into the G3X system, and then we'll be able to hook up and actually run the flaps via the G3X. And that's that's really the plan here. And I do believe in the next video we actually get that done. So yeah, once that thing's hooked up, um, you just put it back in, you slide it up and down to make sure that it doesn't get in the way of anything. And now I'm going to continue working on the G3X, apparently. Yes! Okay, so what had happened, remember we talked about, oh, I wanted to get the wing hooked up. I'm like, you know what, that's nice. And I hooked the wing up. We got the roll servo, we got the magnetometer. Uh, I thought, but you know what, let's get something that moves working. So that's why we're working on the... Um, that's why we're working on the flap position sensor. Sorry, it, I'm I'm so hungover. Look, today's my birthday, all right? Actually, okay, so normally, remember I, I'm doing these on Wednesday. I'm doing the voiceovers on Wednesdays now. I'm not. Well, I am not. This week, I'm not. It's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, the 25th. It's my birthday. I just turned 35. I'm kind of hungover. So what I'm doing now, so, okay, to get this working, so ironically, you would think, well, the flat position sensor sounds like it's part of the electrical system, and the electrical controller is the GAD27 box. Well, you would be mostly right. Your intuition would think, oh, that must plug into the electrical controller. It does not. The flat position, so all the position sensors actually plug into the GEA24, which is the engine analyzer. But the flap power, however, and the flap controller go into the GAD27. So the flap position sensor goes into the engine analyzer, as do all the other sensors. But the electric controller is actually the GAD27. So we're having to put both of those in. Uh, in the next video, we're going to keep working on this, and we're going we're gonna to try some mounting ideas for the avionics, of course. See you soon.